IG is live. Hmm. All right. And hey, everybody, uh, we're uh, trying to get connected here because we are going to be live both on Instagram and Facebook and uh, we are going to do a live show on um, Help Me Rebuild um, to sell my artwork to move the inventory out because back in uh, October of 2018 Hurricane Michael hit our community. Uh, I live in Mariana, Florida. I own a two-story building in downtown Mariana which is part of the, uh, the historic uh, um, area. And uh, Hurricane Michael did a, did a number to our community and our um, uh, and our uh, all of our businesses and, and everything else. So our my building is still a wreck because all of our properties that we own and all of our businesses were uh, because we own several other businesses were also affected. So I need to now start focusing on that building and for me to do that I need to move out inventory and I'm going to start with my artwork and so I have a lot of artwork that's available for sale and the artwork that you can either um, go to on my Instagram page you can go to my bio and you can click on it and it will take you to my website or you can uh, look at the banner on Facebook and you can go there and visit uh, what's available for sale. Okay, so uh, the way the way this process is going to be is I have divided them up into groups because I basically have 73 pieces, and you're not going to stay all night watching all this stuff. And oh, by the way, you should have your wine. I have my mug of wine right here. I'm uh, uh, trying to keep the tongue loose and keep on going. So. Um, I've divided them up into groups, and I'm going to start with um, the prints, which is actually at the very back end of the group. 67 to 73 is the prints group, and that has to do with our community, and I just want to tell a story about that. And I'll uh, pick a few and talk about those, and then I'll move on to each group. Now, I'm just going to pick a few out of each of those groups. And then what you can do is, if you're interested in something else that I have not mentioned within that group, then just type in uh, what number that you are interested in, and I will pull that out as best I can, and I will talk about that piece. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with uh, the prints, uh, numbers 67 through 73, and the ones that I'm going to show is numbers 70, uh, 69, 70, and 71. And these are the ones that are on here. Um, this, these imageries here is our local community, Mariana. Um, I've taken a lot of photography of our hometown uh, parades. Um, because we live in the South, we have a lot of beauty queens and marching bands, and so I have a lot of artwork that reflects uh, our community. And this image and this image are both hanging at our health department and I have a third painting the, the originals are there so these are all now prints and in fact this print this is the last one this is this is it um, now I have several of these which you can see on uh, my website I've got several but I purposely brought out the biggest one and even though it's the same price as the others because it was affected by the storm now the storm, I was very fortunate in terms of my artwork. And so I, I was lucky not to have a lot of damage to my artwork. But this print did get damaged. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but this mat board ended up getting all the water. So the print is fine, the glass is fine, the frame is great. In fact, it's an awesome frame, it's huge. And uh, um, all it needs is a mat board. And by the way, I'm a picture framer, and so I can mat it for you. And yes, that would be extra, but I can do that for you. Now, I happen to have a painting hanging at top, and I'm gonna move this camera just a little bit so that you can see the top image. Now, this is not a print. I chose to add that in because 
it is the same subject as this one. Now this image here has paint, been painted uh, several times. Um, so the one on the wall here is an original painting. It is a fluid acrylic on clay board uh, with a four inch uh, wide frame. Now that, that is the most expensive piece that I have on sale for that, um, uh, that, uh, that I have for available for sale. So, and, and I'm not gonna give it away because it's gonna hang in my house as long as, if, as, long as nobody wants it. Uh, and besides, it's, it's an iconic image of our area. And because that image does sell, you know, I, I'm not gonna give it away. So anyways, that is our story of our prints. Any questions on that, just let me know. I am going to move to the next grouping, and that's from the top of the list, and that's our my florals. Um, those are uh, numbers one through twenty-two, and uh, and I will switch these out. So I need my mom to come up here and help help me and uh, get these while I get the uh, florals. Yeah, just pick them off of there and hand them to me. Okay. All right, so um, the, the numbers that I'm going to be working with is numbers 11, 12, and 16. And I'm going to start with the center one because this is Sisters 3. Uh, this one's number 16. It's uh, roses. Um, I'm primarily a watercolor artist, so most of my paintings that I create are watercolors. And since I said I was also a picture framer because I owned a two-story shop and the downstairs was uh, for picture framing, um, I needed to have displays in the shop to show customers all the different ways that you can do matting. And as you can see, this has many multiple layers of matting. It has a circle at the bottom where it has a uh, writing in uh, Sisters 3, the, the, the name of the title. Um, this is solid wood frame. In fact, it's a natural wood, and you can see even a blemish here of a knot that's in that wood. Now, I'm a quirky kind of artist, so I like that kind of stuff. I know it's not totally perfect, but I like quirky. Anyways, it's ready to hang and ready to go out the door. So it happens to be one of my, one of my favorite of course, I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> Let's see. Um, this one is the Old Fashioned Iris Series Number One, and um, and this other one is Old Fashioned Series Number Three. Now, both of these are watercolors. And I did the framing on them too. They are, they are all wood. Now the irises are actually images of my grandfather. My grandfather passed away at 109 just a few years ago. And he's an artist. And that's where, you know, I developed also that talent was from him. And these water, the irises are actually the shapes or the, his, his irises that I use and sketched, I sketched them out from his paintings and then I created my own irises as if I'm painting them along with him. So those are my creations of irises from my grandfather's garden. And he grew them. Yeah. Uh, all right, any, any questions so far? Let's uh, move to um, 20, 21, and 22.
Okay. Um, I'll start on that side. Well, I'll, I'll start with the acrylic painting. So besides being a watercolor artist, I also paint with acrylics and oils. And with acrylic painting, um, you know, you can paint like watercolor, but I've chosen to have a looser style with acrylics. And so this is a very loose style of flowers. Um, it, it, um, it, uh, it's just a acrylic on canvas, ready to hang, everything professionally done, and uh, my loose style of acrylics. Um, I was teaching art classes in, on my sec, in my second floor of my building and most students wanted to learn acrylics, even though my favorite medium is watercolors, most of them wanted acrylics. These two are watercolors. These are the dahlias, um, the, the number uh, 21 and 22. Now, the dahlia, um, this is watercolor paper, and most of my watercolors I paint on 300 pound paper and the re it's a really heavy weight paper. You, you can't roll it or anything like that. But I really like the heavier weight paper because I just don't like to stretch paper. But this is a watercolor. And then this one is also a watercolor, but it was done on acrylic. And you can see on a clay board, excuse me, clay board. And um, clay board, uh, does not absorb the, the watercolor like paper does. So it sort of sits on there. So it paints quite differently. But you can see that you can have very similar images on both of these. So we got a small one and a little bit bigger one. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Uh, let's move on and so in between uh, um, if you want to see any more or look at any different ones uh, you can go to my uh, Instagram uh, bio page or my Facebook on the banner and you can see the different avail different artwork that's available for sale so uh, I also made a group that's called other but it sort of has a variety of things so um, it's 23 to 31 is the group um, I included 19 in there and uh, I'm having a I'm having a moment here senior moment <laughs> yeah I'm the senior right oh oh yeah the roses the roses and the bridge. You know, I said that I paint with oils. And uh, right now I am not because I had to move my studio into my home. And oils is just really messy and I don't have a lot of space. So I'm only painting watercolors right now. And um, I thought I'd add a little one. So in, in this group, uh, I just wanted to show the, the oil painting as well, because you know, as an artist, we don't just paint one subject, and I like to uh, paint all sorts of different things. In fact, I would call myself an, an eclectic artist, and I have a very broad interest in, in a lot of things. So this painting also was affected by the storm. And it is an oil painting of roses, similar to the acrylic painting. I just thought I would try it differently. And the frame is like a tortoise shell. And unfortunately, the uh, water hit the frame and went running down the side. So it's got a long bead on the side. Um, but, it, you know, it's doable. But that's an oil painting, and yes, it is ready. And you can see on the back, Here's the, here's the damage from the storm. And like I said, I was very, very fortunate with that, with the storm in terms of, of damages of my artwork. Everything else, I had a lot of, I had a lot of problems with the building. 
this one's an oil painting as well. And it's all framed, a nice gold frame. Uh, this is a limited palette. It is uh, basically black, white, and in, a, in an oak, yellow ochre color. Um, and then an underpainting of blue. So it too is fully ready to hang. And the last one is the iguana. And this is a really tiny one. Let me see if I can get that in there. It is an acrylic on uh, acrylic canvas um, paper. And of course I did all the framing for that. And it is a, it, I uh, painted this from an image when I went to St. Croix. And, and I'll talk more about St. Croix but that's the, the little guy here for that. So there's different price points for everybody and for original artwork. So I'll hand you that. Connected. Yeah. Looking for a large painting. Uh, for any any particular subject, I know now. I know Deborah. I know you talked about uh, one of the paintings. Uh, my um, my um, purple cone flowers, and um, I know that one. The purple cone flowers and the imperial crown are currently hanging at the Gaston Art Center, and I pick them up next week. And I would love to show that here, but those guys are working. And, uh, and, uh, but they are on display, but they are available uh, for that. But uh, I do have some other large paintings, so um, I will see what others I can show you. Um, you can ask uh, what kind of subject, too. Um, the next group is my um, Parade of Beauty Queens, numbers 32 through 38. And I'm going to bring those up. So like I said, um, we're small town, southern town, lots of parades. Lots of beauty queens. They have beauty queens for every age, for any kind of reason, you name it, they got a beauty queen. And of course, they have one right after the other. So, and all of them are watercolors. I have a whole series of them. And this is, you know, the first car was actually a red car and I had to make all of them red because, you know, it just draws your eye through here. And the building in the back happens to be our post office, is in the old Spanish style um, um, structure with the American flag. And by the way, I have a signature here that my signature is M. Tabor. And um, well, when I started painting, my maiden name is Tabor, which is for my name, Michelle Tabor Kimbrough. And I signed my artwork as M. Tabor. So I've been signing my artwork up until about 2012 as M. Tabor. So when I first got married to my husband, Art, and yes, I love Art. <laughs> <laughs> I love Art. And uh, so, so um, I at first didn't change my signature. But uh, so I changed, I figured that my pricing would be that any of my pieces from 2016 or um, Earlier, I would uh, uh, make it 50% off of those works, and most of those have M. Tabor on, on that work. And I came across some that were that I painted in '96, and they're pretty good, you know. So, anyways, um, this is the other Parade of Beauty Queens, and you can see that they are all lined up one right after the other, you know. And, that, you know, and that one too, I took the liberty of making this red and all the rest of them white. You know, it's that artistic license. And then this, this painting happens to... Oh, 
Oh, yeah. That's awesome, Deborah. I'm looking forward to seeing you. And this happens to be the rest house. Um, it was built in um, 1895, and our house is right across the street, and it was built in 1896. And uh, the painting that I was talking about that's at the, uh, um, at the health department, and the one up here, the, that's the 1840s house looking out from the rest house. So, a lot of historical stuff. Um, that's the marching, that's the Beauty Queens set. I am going to go to the marching band, and that's numbers 39 to 43. So you can go ahead and get those. And my helpers are doing a great job. Thank you. You know, the best kind of pay, you know, called wine. <laughs> Vino Rosso. Yes. All right. Yeah. Could you move that over? Yeah. Now, I did the marching band series. And again, these are all watercolors. And these, these will show your, all your pom-pom in the flag team in front of the band. Those are all fun. And again, there's our post office in the background. And then the other one is of the marching band. You know, I'm sure some parent may recognize their kid in this. <laughs> of, the, of the Mariana High School marching band. And then this one's my really favorite one. And I, I uh, framed this one. This is, uh, this is called The Reflections of a Community. And it's framed in a silver frame, and I've got uh, one, two, three mats on there. And, um, and the reason why I call it Reflections of a Community is because in the tuba, you, if you really look close at it, you can see the community uh, all around as they were going through. And, uh, so, and so it's very nicely framed, ready to hang. It's, Definitely a heavy painting on that. Okay. So that's the marching band. The next group is the military aviation. Those are number 44 to 50. Now, I am a former Army helicopter and airplane pilot. And um, so I spent 10 years in the Army flying uh, helicopters and airplanes. I was, uh, I was in military intelligence, so I got to fly airplanes. So basically, I was a spy in the sky kind of thing. So that's what I did for 10 years. And then, you know, they had massive downsizing. I got, another, got a job doing something else. And, Later on in life, I became uh, a flight instructor at the Army Flight School at Fort Rucker, Alabama, which, was, which is located to the north of me. And I did that for 10 years, teaching instrument flight rules. And instrument flight, flight rules is uh, like driver's ed on steroids. It's learning the rules and regulations of flying in the sky. It's really the most boring subject, so imagine learning, you know, reading that driver's ed book and reading all those rules, just maximize that and imagine doing that. So anyways, I had an average of 24 to 26 students of, of uh, young people coming through flight school, the Army flight school, to learn how to fly helicopters. So I had to teach them about instrument flight rules. So some of these students went to Afghanistan. So they started off as enlisted soldiers and they came through as warrant officers. And they shared with me some of their imagery of the time when they were in Afghanistan, and they allowed me to use their imagery so I can create some artwork. Now, most of my artwork is created from my own photography, but I had the honor of being able to create artwork um, 
from their imagery. So this is called Steel Beach. Sorry about that. It's, uh, I'm not I'm not in sequence here. <laughs> this is Steel Beach, and this is in Bagram Air Air Base in Afghanistan. This is uh, where they were in 2002, where the crews were wrapping up for the day, walking across a steel beach. And you can see a Chinook, uh, which is the helicopter, that is uh, parked yeah. right here. Now the steel beach is this part here that they were talking about. It's basically, just imagine, um, just steel with a bunch of holes in it, you know, and they lay that on the, on the ground, and that's how they can be able to make an, an instantaneous uh, hard surface area that they can uh, work on. Um, this one, this one is um, needing repairs. Needing repairs is in Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan, also in 2002. This is where a Chinook, which is this guy right here, he was sling loading a, a UH-60, and this aircraft over here is a, um, um, I'm having a senior moment, a Warthog, an A-10 Warthog, which is an Air, Air Force aircraft. And the Air Force supported the, the Army with this aircraft. And then the last one is needing repairs. And needing repairs, you can see that in the, uh, you have a helicopter, which is a UH-60 right here. And this UH-60 had a hard landing. And, and a hard landing means in our in aviation terms that they had a bad day and things are broken on it. And uh, the aircraft is loaded inside a C-17 airplane. And you can see, you know, uh, the troops right here riding along and they're going to another air base where they will do the repairs on the helicopter. So these are all watercolors and they're just, uh, just simply matted. And that's it of the aviation stuff. All right, so if you want any of those, just go to uh, my uh, Instagram bio page or um, look at the banner and go to my site and you can buy it right then and there, right off of my website. The next grouping, I, I just call them uh, acrylic paintings. They're 51 through 56. And um, I'm gonna cool these out. So I'm always taking pictures of our parades. And we have an annual Christmas parade. And in the annual Christmas parade, you know, they all have all sorts of fun fun uh, decorations and everything else. And this hair salon group of people had a great float. And they were all dressed up in costume, so I just couldn't help myself to paint them. And so these are some people in our local community. I couldn't tell you their names, but uh, you know, I'm always uh, painting pictures of people. But they're all ready to, ready to hang acrylic on canvas uh, oh by the way this one i'm oh, sorry about that is sugar plum mary yeah and, and i had fun with the names you know the, that's the other part being an artist i just start laughing and so this one's orange frost you know and of course he's got the little crazy little hair thing there you know and it was all lit up and his jacket was all lit up, and so he's pretty lit. <laughs> and then, and then uh, this one is called Wanda Haircut. And this one, I, I had a little time trying to figure out the name for this piece. And I thought, well, you know, I didn't want to say Wanda Haircut. You want a haircut? How about Wanda Haircut? Wanda Haircut, Wanda? Wanda, Wanda Haircut? Anyways. I'm not a comedian. <laughs> so that's those of the acrylic. Any questions on that? Um, the, the last group, the last and final group is 57 through 66. And these are my current imagery. Um, Yes. 
That's right. So uh, don't, don't waste any time because I really like to move this inventory. Right now it's all packed up in my house and I don't even want to invite anybody here because there's nowhere to sit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all over the place. Um, now, my most current work, um, I have been working on um, the Crucian Carnival series and I have a solo exhibit um, next month, this September, from the 3rd of September through the 25th of September at the Panama City Center for the Arts. And I'm going to display my most current work called the Crucian Carnival series. And when my husband and I went to St. Croix back in 2017, it was during the time where they had their big Christmas parade and, you know, all the pageantry that goes on in there. And, and it just became uh, a body of work. I had no idea that that's what it was going to be. So these are my watercolors. So this is the Crucian Carnival 40... Seven. So I had created 48 pieces and 23 of them will be on display. Um, and the opening reception, by the way, is on the 3rd, the um, Friday, just around the corner. So she's the smallest one. And so that's the, and I, and I started off naming them with a name. Uh, and then I got, it got to be so many. So you could see that I really did a lot of painting. They're all with watercolors. Um, some of them have maybe a little bit of acrylic in them, you know, just because I'm looking for a color or a, a, a technique or like this one has, if you look at it sideways, it's sort of hard to see on the camera. It's ir has some iridescent paint on it. Um, the other one here um, is Crucian Carnival number 45. Um, you can see she can see you in those glasses. In fact, the funny part is, is the person that's in the, in the eyeglasses happens to be my husband. <laughs> he didn't even know it. He's just looking at me going, what? <laughs> so this one is a watercolor too, but I also used acrylic on top of it. I used what's called an, uh, these iridescent type paints. Uh, uh, they're called interference acrylics. And, and it and creates a little bit of a pearl sheen on top of it, which is a pretty cool effect on it. <laughs> and then the last one, you know, the cool thing about painting on watercolor, this was a full sheet and I decided I didn't like the other half, so I cut it in half and I made two different paintings out of it. And so you can see it's, uh, it's, all, it's half of a full sheet. And uh, this is number... Um, 38, I gotta count those numbers. Um, it, actually, it should, it should be called Gossip Girls or something like that, you know? They're, they're busy talking and telling who knows what stories and, and uh, not paying attention to what the crowd's doing. You can see that the headdress is off and they're like, okay, I'm done with this parade. <laughs> of course, I was closer to the end of the parade, so you know, it was pretty crazy. <laughs> So that is it for all of the imagery that I have available. If anybody wants to see something different, um, just punch up a number. Otherwise, visit my uh, page, either through my Instagram account um, via the, the bio or on Facebook and go directly to my website and you can purchase it right away. You can't waste any time because the sale ends this Sunday. Um, and I'll give you till, you know, till midnight to get there, you know, when you finally make up that decision. But after that, I really got to focus on the next, next phase, and that's my solo, and stuff these guys away when I'm done. So uh, any other questions or anything? I, that's all I have to share, and I really, really appreciate everybody joining in. Thank you. You don't want to show the, the Hawaiian one?